हेलो एंड वेलकम टू प्रोग्रेसिव एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज मॉडर्न कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी निगड़ी पुणे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट फार्माकोग्नोसी एंड फाइटो फार्मास्यूटिकल्स फॉर सेकेंड ईयर फॉर्म डी प्रैक्टिकल्स myself dr bhushan pimple in this session we will have a look upon the morphology that is external appearance and microscopy that is anatomical architecture of the plant datura after complete observing the video the learners will be able to understand what are the various morphological parameters of the tura leaf they will be able to identify compare and analyze various anatomical structures like tissues or cells and their arrangement explain the use of various staining agents and their application and they will be able to demonstrate microscopy of the tura leaf this is the datura leaf which we normally found find well flourished during rainy season or it can also be observed throughout the year the synonym for datura is synonym means it is an alternative name or a traditional name or a local language name or a name by which the drug is more popular and it is it is also known as angel's trumpet and the, the reason for this is because the shape of the flower is similar to a trumpet then biological source biological source means the source from which it is obtained whether it is obtained from herbs or minerals or animals now in this case it is a herbal origin and it consist the drug consist of dried leaves and flowering tops of datura metal lin variety fastuosa sapper belonging to family solanaceae now this entire sentence becomes biological source chemical constituents the drug is famous for most of the chemicals like atropine hyoscyamine hy hyoscine and other alkaloids these chemical constituents are having various medical applications such as those are, these all are anticholinergic anticholinergic means they reduce the secretions as far as atropine is concerned it is instilled into the eyes before uh, operation uh, ophthalmic surgery in order to dilate the pupil also it is given along with local anesthesia during dental surgery or before the dental surgery now this atropine reduces salivary secretion and helps the dentist to perform the surgery more effectively so the major role of this drug is to reduce the secretions second it is also used as anti asthmatic we will now see the morphology of datura leaf this is the datura leaf here we can find the color color varies on dorsal surface it is dark green in color dorsal surface is the surface that faces the sun and on ventral surface it is pale green 
or grayish green in color and ventral surface always faces towards the ground odor odor of this plant we can determine the odor by crushing a sample of leaf fresh sample of leaf and it can be observed that the odor is characteristic characteristic means such kind of odor is not seen in any other plant it is only related to this plant taste as far as the taste is concerned the leaf shows distinct various different taste like bitterness because it has alkaloids in it plus it can also show slight sweet taste size the leaves are measured as per the maximum length and maximum width the ratio of maximum length as to maximum width is called as aspect ratio this is very important because the same plant can show more variations in the leaf size depending upon the age of the leaf next is shape shape of datura leaf is ovate to oblong or it can also be called as triangular ovate it is roughly ob ovate texture texture of the leaf can be sensed by taking the leaf surface between two fingers and gently moving our index and thumb finger the texture of this leaf is rough rough in pharmacognosy rough texture means it has the presence of trichomes or epidermal hair on it next is apex apex is the topmost point of the leaf apex is acute in case of datura leaf and we call it as acute because the two margins of the leaf they meet at the uppermost point and form an acute angle this is also called as pointed apex or tapered apex next is margin margin is the periphery of the leaf the margin in case of datura leaf is sinuate and sinuate means it has rough sine wave like order or appearance next base base is the lowermost portion of the leaf where two margins meet now in case of datura leaf the base is asymmetrical asymmetrical means one side of the margin or one side of the leaf margin it touches the mid rib at upper point and the another side it touches slightly at a different location such kind of bases are called as asymmetrical bases next petiole petiole is the connector of the leaf to the branch or stem since on the basis of presence or absence of petiole the leaves are categorized as petiolated leaf and non petiolated leaf datura shows prominent presence of petiole so it is called as petiolated leaf and last part is venation the pattern in which the veins are scattered throughout the lamina is called as venation venation is generally observed on the more prominently on the ventral surface here the tura leaf shows reticulate type of venation reticulate means the veins and their venules they intersect with each other 
एंड फॉर्म मैश लाइक अपियरेंस और अव लाइक अपियरेंस सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज रेटिक्यूलेट वेनेशन एंड रेटिक्यूलेट वेनेशन एज वेल एज ड्यूएल कलर इंडिकेट्स दैट द प्लांट इज बिलोंगिंग टू डाई कॉट ऑर्डर दैट मीन्स द प्लांट विल गिव आउट डाई कॉट सीड्स now we will see how to perform surface microscopy or also known as surface characteristics of the leaf this is one of the first, one of the microscopical characteristic here we determine what are the various components present on the surface to proceed for this practical we need a fresh sample of leaf and the leaf is held in such a way that the ventral surface that is the light colored surface in this case faces towards us and the dark surface away from us and we gently tear the leaf from the margin and very gently pull it upwards so that a plastic sheath like appearance or plastic sheath like structure which is called as epidermis separates out this is very similar to a uh, plastic cover of our books having um, a brown color with plastic coating very similarly here also you can find this plastic like membrane but it is epidermis now this epidermis comprises of three kinds of cells first is epidermal cell the function of epidermis is protection protection from external factors like dust rain and sunlight it also protects the leaf from from drying it prevents desiccation of the leaf further the epidermis is innervated with sir at a random randomly or at a regular interval you can find the presence of openings called as stomata stomata is the opening for exchange of gases also it gives out excess water this helps to maintain cool temperature in the leaf stomata in case of datura is of anisocytic type anisocytic means the opening this is stoma opening it is surrounded by two guard cells which are kidney shape and these two guard cells are in turn surrounded by three subsidiary cells 1 2 and 3 amongst these three subsidiary cells one is distinctly smaller so the name is an isocytic cyte means cells iso means similar so the three cells are not similar this is the reason why it is called as anisocytic type of stomata next is trichome trichome are superficial hair like outgrowth given by the epidermis these outgrowths prevent the leaf from microbial or pests these most of the leaf with trichomes they secrete sticky substances and prevent the smooth skinned insects from grazing or crawling upon it there are two kinds of trichome in datura one is called as covering trichome and the another is glandular trichome covering trichome means it has a separate cover above the cells the covering trichome is made is multicellular in case of datura that means you can count the cells here 
2 3 and 4 amongst the four cells or five six cells whatever the number of the or the count is one cell is shrunk at the center so and the topmost cell is bulged it is giving a ball like appearance whereas the bottom cell is also fatty or stout so that it maintains the balance of the trichome this is the drawing of trichome and in actual the trichome appears under microscope in this way this is the image taken at 40x objective and 10x eyepiece so you can see here the bulged or uh, blunt end of the blunt apex of the trichome and broad base of the trichome this is multicellular in nature the another type of trichome what is observed here is glandular glandular trichome has in case of the tura has a unicellular stalk and a multicellular head this appears very similar to mushroom the stalk is unicellular whereas the head is multicellular generally four to six cells are present in the head this is a diagram and the actual image is under electron microscope you can find this kind of image the glandular or the multicellular head and a unicellular stalk again the function of glandular trichome is to prevent pesticidal attack on the leaves before the start of the experiment make sure that you have following in material with you like for example tissue paper a napkin then a watch glass with water microscope slide cover slip this is a cover slip a brush a needle dissecting needle and a razor blade now i will recommend you all to purchase this gillette seven o'clock blade because our results with this blade are much more superior compared to the other blades because it has a very sharp edge then the material or the crude drug that is to be studied now in this case we are studying datura leaf this is the sample of datura leaf as we have seen in the theoretical aspects it has acute apex sinuate kind of margin and asymmetrical base color of the drug this is the dorsal surface so color of the drug is dark green in whereas on the ventral side it is light green in color as far as the venation is concerned generally the venation is to be observed only through the ventral surface for a proper identification and you can see mesh like appearance mesh like appearance is formed when the venules intersect with each other now here we are going to start taking section of the crude drug for this it is always advisable to take this part of the leaf that is completely mature the mature part or mature region gives good quality of internal anatomy as well as the tissue present in the mature region can be easily differentiated so we are going to take section through the lower one third region of the leaf and the upper part can also be used for surface microscopy 
for surface microscopy hold the ventral surface facing towards us whereas the dorsal surface away from us and from the margin just tear the margin and gently pull up one part of the tore area you will find very fine delicate transparent membrane very similar to uh, polythene sheets now that is called as the epidermis always we should concentrate upon the lower or sorry ventral surface because on the ventral surface you can find more amount of stomata and trichomes on the periphery here you will find presence of very thin epidermis we will cut this epidermis transparent region we will place it on the slide microscopic slide and put a drop of water over it and will observe under microscope so this is the way how peeling for stomata and trichome is done the epidermis is very transparent compared to the chlorophyll containing region the epidermis does not contain any chlorophyll now this is the reason why we are using epidermis so that the stomata will be clearly visible also the stomata will be present solely in the epidermal part add one or two drops of water through the brush and place a cover slip over the microscopic slide with the help of a dissecting needle from one side towards another so that minimum air bubbles are present air bubbles will interfere in the proper projection of the slide because air has different kind of refractivity compared to water and in microscope we are using light as a medium to catch the image this is a motic microscope make of the company is olympus and the camera is attached to the microscope in order to capture live images of the slide the prepared slide is placed on the stage black colored stage of the microscope and this microscope has four kinds of objective lens this is 10x objective sorry 5x objective 10 this yellow colored lens is 10x objective this is 45x objective and lastly 100x objective so in this year we will be using 45x 10x and 6x objective as far as the ips are concerned ips is of 10x so the net resolution produced by using a 6x objective and a 10x ips will be 6 into 10 that is 60x that means it will zoom the cells to 60 times it will zoom the object 60 times of the original now this is how the image under the microscope appears on the screen now i'm showing you the live image and the reason for this is i cannot place the camera of my cell phone into the ips because it will not 
catch it properly. Whereas the camera what is attached to the microscope has a special attachment and lenses into the adapter. So this is the view of the surface of the leaf. You can see various cells. This is at 6x. If I change the objective to 10x, a better resolution in the image can be obtained. We need to play with the light and the settings or the exposure in order to capture a good quality image. Now, this is how the image appears on the microscope. You can see here the stomata and epidermal cells along with certain glandular trichomes. We will try to zoom it. This is the glandular trichome has four cells glandular head or four cell multicellular head since this is the top view we are unable to see the stalk whereas this particular region is the stomata the closed stomata that means the guard cells are visible here along with three subsidiary cells this is the one second and the third one you can see the third one is distinctly smaller compared to the other two. If you have a look at any other stomata, same is the picture. Like this is the one cell, second cell and the third cell. Every guard cell is surrounded by three subsidiary cells. This is called as anisocytic stomata.